Well, we all know uh, by now Osama bin Laden is dead, or some don't think he is, actually. Since uh, President Obama made the announcement at the start of this week, pressure has built for the White House to provide conclusive proof. They haven't. Uh, and uh, that to add uh, to the, I guess, problem here is that it just breeds... Uh, conspiracy theories abound. So, we're going to look at this issue of the conspiracy theories. Uh, where do they come from? How credible are they? And why do people get into them? And joining us now with uh, more on this is Matthew Dennett, a conspiracy expert from Auckland University. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. Now, you actually study conspiracy theories. You're, you're writing a, a thesis on this issue. Uh, they just seem to be everywhere at the moment. With this case of Osama bin Laden, do you, uh, you must be thinking this is uh, Christmas for you. Oh, yes, actually, the last week, the rolling of Rodney Hyde as leader, I thought, brilliant, local conspiracy theories galore about what's going on there as to what the real motivation was. And then, of course, on Monday, uh, sitting there watching Twitter as I'm pretending to write my PhD thesis, <laughs> and suddenly there's present speech coming up. You're going, oh, what's that about? And they're saying, we think Osama bin Laden's been killed. So 45 minutes before the speech was made, everyone knew bin Laden had been assassinated by the American government. And then the information came out, and within minutes the conspiracy theory started to proliferate. There was no photo. Uh, the way the story was told, there were inconsistencies from the beginning. Was there a human shield in front of bin Laden? Wasn't there? Was he armed? Was he not? Uh, Sarah Palin came out saying, well, this is brilliant. We managed to get him due to information got under torture. The White House said no. It was a normal intelligence gathering operation. No torture involved. The story, the official story, ended up being weirdly bewildering and confusing from the outset. And from that, conspiracy theories just generated themselves. Can, can conspiracy theories be uh, knocked back, though? Even if they release the photos, there will always, won't there, be people who will just think this is, a, this is fake, this is, you know, that it was an assassination and he didn't try and resist, all those sorts of things. Well, given that since the advent of photography, people have been altering photos. You look at what Stalin did with the group photo of the revolutionaries from the beginning of his career, and then you look at that same photo at the end of his career, and they have effectively photoshopped out all the people that he killed along the way. Uh, you just can't trust photographic evidence. It's uh, just too easy to manipulate. Trust is the crux of the matter here. It is trust in the authorities, a trust in the establishment. On all sorts of conspiracy theories, whether it be man going to the moon, it, it, at some point, you've got to decide, don't you, whether or not you're going to believe in the establishment. Yes, and therein lies the issue, because we know that the establishment, especially the American establishment, does on occasion not present the truth. I mean, we're now fairly sure that there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, but that was the official story that was And they was went to the to... UN with the evidence. Yes, and, then, and, I mean, and this is an interesting case. The state of America, I'm fairly sure, actually really did believe that they had the evidence. They chose to trust the board members of the CIA who were convinced that what happened in the first Gulf War was still ongoing. They chose not to trust the field agents of the CIA who said, look, actually these programs have stopped. They then presented the selective evidence. They then used that to legitimise an invasion. <laughs> Matthew, we're running short of time. Just very quickly, and as quickly as you can, I mean, we're not going to see these conspiracy theories go away on, a, on Osama no matter what happens, are we? No, no, because in the end, because of the interesting issue of trust with the American government and the legitimization of the war on terror. If you suspect that America's up to something, then no amount of evidence they provide is going to be sufficient. Matthew, thank you very much. Uh, conspiracy theorist, I should say, expert in studying conspiracy theories. Fascinating stuff.